running an open flow switch on a Raspberry Pi. Software Defined Networking, SDN, a relatively new technology that emerged from the principle of programmable networks, was created to configure network devices more flexibly and dynamically. SDN provides three important capabilities of IoT, control through software that has complete knowledge of the network, abstraction of the details of the devices and protocols, and flexibility to tune the components within the IoT. The most frequent implementation of SDN is OpenFlow. Some well-known vendors of networking services have implemented the OpenFlow protocol in their business networking hardware. Network switches, some of the most important networking devices, connect the elements in a computer network by using packet switching to receive, process and forward data to the destination device. This video shows a test environment created to evaluate the possibility of running the OpenV switch, open source virtual software switch, which is also OpenFlow capable on Raspberry Pi. OpenV switch is run on Raspberry Pi as a kernel module. First, the OpenV switch source code must be downloaded to the Raspberry Pi, and the dependencies and kernel header files needed to compile it must be installed. Once the module has been generated, it can be uploaded to the Raspberry Pi operating system. However, before we can run the software switch, we have to create a couple of configuration files. Let's have a look at this process. After booting in the Raspberry Pi, we can download OpenV switch using the command wget. After unzipping the file, we must use the apt-get command to get into the generated directory to install the dependencies and kernel header files needed by the source code. Note that we will need super user privileges. Now we can compile the OpenV switch module choosing the previously installed kernel headers by Linux commands. Configure to make sure all of the dependencies for the rest of the build and install process are available. Here we must indicate where the previous header files have been installed. Make to build the software that involves running some tasks defined in the corresponding makefile file. Activating install will copy the program created at the correct location. The new Open vSwitch module can then be uploaded to the Raspberry Pi operating system. To do this, go into the datapath slash Linux directory and load the module with the modprobe command. Now we need to create two configuration files to complete the installation. The configuration file for the OpenV switch daemon and the database that contains the switch configuration. The configuration file for the OpenV switch daemon is created by the touch command. Before creating the database for the switch configuration, we must create a directory called OpenVSwitch within the path indicated by the mkdir command. We can then create the database by the OVSDB tool, OpenVSwitch Database Management Utility. A start script file is created to simplify the process of bringing the OpenVSwitch daemon up using any of the text editors available in Linux and introducing the lines shown. Now we can run the OpenV switch daemon and configure our new virtual software switch. First, a new switch, BR0, is created with no ports initially. Then we create three ports in the BR0 switch. Finally, the different switch interfaces can be activated by the ifconfig command. The switch is now configured and running and can be connected to two host PCs with the help of two USB to Ethernet interfaces. An external SDN controller can also be connected to the onboard Ethernet interface to enable intelligent networking on a third PC.